Hello friends, welcome to Programming Knowledge. In this video, we will see how to install PostgreSQL on Ubuntu based operating system. In our previous video, we saw that how to install PostgreSQL on a Mac operating system. In this video, I will show you how to do it on a Ubuntu. So first of all, you need to open your terminal. Now. In terminal, before installing PostgreSQL, you first fire this command sudo at get update. Now, this command will update your all the repositories in the Ubuntu operating system. Just fire it and password, insert the password. Okay, it's done. Let me first clear the screen. Now, in order to install PostgreSQL, write sudo apt get install PostgreSQL. Now, this command will install PostgreSQL on your Ubuntu based operating system and we write another sentence which is postgresql hyphen now what it will do it will add more features and functionalities to your postgresql we just fire this command again password Okay, that's a spelling mistake, sorry. Okay, after this operation, 20.9 MP of your additional disk space will be used. So, just press Y, enter. It will take some time. Okay. So let me first clear the screen. Now, in order to know the status of your PostgreSQL, just write service PostgreSQL. Here you can see you can use start, stop, restart, reload, force reload, and status command with the service PostgreSQL. Let us try status. Here you can see the status loaded, active and here is the PostgreSQL RDBMS. Okay, let me clear the screen. Now, the by default, the first user is Postgres so, in order to log in as Postgres, write sudo su and then Postgres. Here you can see user is changed to Postgres now. Now write p 
psql here you can type your postgresql commands in order to list out all the database just write backslash l so here is the list of databases that are present in your operating system now let me write backslash du it will show the users present in your operating system currently we are logged in as postgres so here how can you install postgresql in ubuntu operating system and with the help of this you can run all the command which are supported by postgres thanks for watching it